So I'm about to test the Canon EOS R5. I'm very excited, but I'm also a little nervous because I'm a creature of habit when it comes to my camera. I've read the specs and I've heard a lot about it. So I've organized a few different types of shoots in my studio to really see what it's capable of and have some fun. When I came up with the idea for this shot, it was to really see how well this camera could track and focus on animals and people in an image, in a single capture. And normally if I was photographing this with my, you know, my, my go-to camera, my trusty workhorse, I, I would probably be thinking about having to do some head squats to make sure that all three elements, all three of the main subjects there were in focus and never would I have expected to be able to capture this in camera with one shot. I'd actually visualised chickens flying everywhere throughout the studio. I thought it was going to be a lot more chaotic than it was, but they were so well behaved and I was able to get this shot within a couple of minutes, which kind of blew my mind as well. Because if you have a look at this, the detail in that chicken, all throughout the entire chicken, every single part of it is sharp and in focus. And when you're photographing a subject like this and they're moving, um, you would have to be continually moving your focal points. But this camera was watching and I was looking at the back of the screen, I was watching how it was tracking both birds as well as my daughter's face. And when I'm photographing subjects wearing a hat, I often you know, really struggle with getting that focus pin sharp on the face because you know the camera likes to focus on the brim, as we all know, but this, in one single capture was what pretty much blew my mind. Wow. And when we photographed the puppies, I just, you know, I shot this at, I think I was using the 28 to 70 lens, which is my favorite go-to lens. I love the ability um, that this lens has to capture so many different um, angles and, and different focal lengths. So you've got that variety, that variation that you need when you're working with very unpredictable subjects <laughs> like puppies. And six puppies in the studio, and they were around seven weeks of age. They were busy. They were very playful and 100 miles an hour. When this little guy was placed down inside the bucket, I had a split second before he was gone. So the minute he turned and he looked at that camera, I knew I'd got that shot. But what I didn't know was just how much detail I'd actually captured. And I was, I reckon, here about four or five meters away from this little guy. And look at the detail in his face. Every single eyelash, the little hairs and whiskers on his chin, like that there. Until I downloaded this and zoomed in, I really, really, I just couldn't believe how much it had actually captured within that scene and that expression. Of insane when you think about it. This camera is not only going to change the way that I shoot and my mindset around this. You know, normally I would visualize having to do, like I said before, lots of head swaps, but now I know that I'm going to get these shots in camera and I'm working with puppies all the time and they are unpredictable. So you've got to be able to have that confidence that you're going to capture what you need. With a shot like this, with six puppies in a row, normally you would, you know, focus on on one and then hope that you'd got all of the others in focus. But when you look at the detail of all six puppies and how sharp they are throughout this entire image, that blew my mind. I wasn't just focusing on one. This camera was picking up all of their faces. It was, you know, focusing on this little guy at the same time as focusing on this one. Being able to go in and select what it is that you want that camera to track, whether it be human or animal, having that ability, that is a complete game changer. And you can totally understand why this camera has the nickname of the king, because it is by far better than anything else I have ever worked with. Just being able to photograph, you know, 
these gorgeous little babies and this is what I do in my studio all the time and those eyes look at that the detail is incredible the ability that this camera has to to be able to capture this amount of information on such a small subject it's truly mind-blowing what parent isn't going to love that? That gorgeous little baby and those beautiful creamy skin tones. Being able to get that in camera and all of that detail, that's, that's what we need as photographers. And this was the last setup I did and this is where I really wanted to push and see what it could capture and how much detail there would be because, you know, often in the studio when you're uh, photographing different setups and things like that, you think you've got the focus, but it's not until you download those photos that you realize that you're slightly off. What I wanted to see with this particular setup was introducing a lot of information and detail around the face with the headpiece and the, the neck, neck piece there, if it could capture all of that detail. And I was, I was standing, I shot this at 80, with an 85mm prime lens, I was standing about six and a half to seven meters away and I could see that it was tracking that face on the back of the camera. It was absolutely amazing. But when I zoom in and, and, and look at the detail, obviously, in that hair piece, but then I come down to the face and I can see the pores in her skin and her eyelashes and all of that information, like all the little wrinkles in her lips so much going on in this image and then there was smoke going you know moving behind her but it didn't lose sight of what it was supposed to be focusing on and that was that face but the detail throughout this is truly amazing wow The detail that's in this print is insane. And check out the size of it. I think it's pretty safe to say that the EOS R5 has exceeded my expectations on every level.